Introducing Quickie.lk, Sri Lanka's favorite online marketplace with a wide range of product categories. Pharmaceuticals, automobile, groceries, electronics, flowers and cakes, homeware and appliances, and special services such as Quickie Concierge and Quickie SOS. Providing you with multiple payment options, quick delivery and reliable customer support. Get anything you want delivered anywhere in Sri Lanka with special late-night delivery until 3 a.m. within Colombo and suburbs. Download the quickie.lk mobile app on your Android or iOS device or visit www.quickie.lk. Quickie.lk. Convenience delivered. We live in a world that's rapid and demanding. We live in a community that values trust and reliability. So what if speed and convenience had a new makeover? Introducing the new Quickie.lk. Sri Lanka's favorite online marketplace, quickie.lk, convenience delivered. Dallas locate ekatuena. Opata sarisarana. Sit seto rakana. Hammer dema open langatama. Kotena hitiak ekamayak. Asim the satatak. Patilina. Obey Daras Soyagana. Pain? Don't let it get you down. For instant pain relief, Baraka Joint Ease Fast Action Spray. Baraka Joint Ease Spray, your pain relief partner on the field. Introducing Quickie.lk, Sri Lanka's favorite online marketplace with a wide range of product categories. Pharmaceuticals, automobile, groceries, electronics, flowers and cakes, homeware and appliances, and special services such as Quickie Concierge and Quickie SOS. Providing you with multiple payment options, quick delivery and reliable customer support. Get anything you want delivered anywhere in Sri Lanka with special late night delivery until 3 a.m. within Colombo and suburbs. 
Download the Quickie.lk mobile app on your Android or iOS device or visit www.quickie.lk. Quickie.lk. Convenience delivered. I know, I know, puta. Hey, baby, I get there in the end. I'm a mood to tell you. Kalaguni ko huna. Rhino nang walada safe tamay mulu getherama. Rhino cement roofing sheets. Then you know Rhino. <laughs> I know. Welcome to the universe of the Raz. Whatever you want, whatever you need, all you can imagine is on your feet. When miles are abridged. Happiness is unlocked. Discover your Daraz. What's the best ceiling sheet, Mr. Basu? That's the I know ceiling. The Rhino ceiling. A wood pattern finish. I know. You can color it your way. The pain ceiling. Rhino. The roofing's Rhino. Oh. The ceiling's Rhino. Incredible strength. I know. Durability that's high. I know. Cost effective too. I know. It's the best choice always. Rhino. Over half a century of trust. Now in a new formula. Rhino roofing and ceiling sheets. I know. Rhino. Prasne crispy nang uttere crispko. Melbourne savoury kikke ke crispy kikke ka. Crispy ne? Crispy ne? For instant pain relief, Baraka Jointies Fast Action Spray, your pain relief partner on the field. लिबन सेवर क्लिक के के बाब क्यों क्लिक के कर मैं ना बाब क्यों नहीं मुनादा लो मेरे किसी क्रिस्पी का त्यान नहीं क्रिस्पी ने ये तोड़ में कार कर कर हैप्पी नहीं कार कर कर हैप्पी ना मुनादा क्यों क्रिस्पी केस में तो बे प्रश्ने क्रिस्पी नंग उत्तरे क्रिस्को मैं लिबन सेवर क्लिक के के क्रिस्पी क्लिक के कर क्रिस्पी ने क्रिस्को � that's rapid and demanding. We live in a community that values trust and reliability. So what if speed and convenience had a new makeover? Introducing the new Quickie.lk. Sri Lanka's favorite online marketplace, Quickie.lk. Convenience delivered. Dara's locate ekatuena. Open to Sarisarana. Sit seto rakana. Hammer dame open langatama. Kotena hitiak. Ekamayak. A seen the Satatak. Patina. Obey Dara's Soyagana. Pain? Don't let it get you down. For instant pain relief, Baraka Joint Ease Fast Action Spray. Baraka Joint Ease Spray, your pain relief partner on the field. Introducing Quickie.lk, Sri Lanka's favorite online... Uh, I believe it is uh, Mendes and... Uh, sorry, it was uh, Jaya Singha and uh, Jaya Wardana. Just not getting that communication right. We tried a bit of a, a wraparound move, which uh, didn't uh, fall into the hands of uh, Jai Wardena, and uh, as a result, uh, put themselves under a lot of pressure. Now it'll be Chamo to throw in to this. Uh, 
Six man line out of uh, St. Joseph's College. With uh, looks like it's a big uh, prop forward lining up at uh, the scrum half position. Now Lanka wins the line out, uh, sets them all from uh, the second channel, and here goes uh, St. Joseph's College with the momentum on their side. The mall is uh, still going forward and well controlled at the back by uh, Seneviratna. St. Joseph's College uh, still with position and uh, Vaidyana seems to be the player going, going Vaidyanta with the ball as uh, St. Joseph's College uh, sets things up. The referee, however, this time says that uh, St. Joseph's College were holding on to, the, on, to, on to position at the breakdown and this time it's a penalty for Wesley. Just a wonderful driving mall by St. Joseph's. Wesley uh, did pretty well to throw that at the last moment uh, and uh, as a result, just uh, not being able to carry the, uh, support the ball carrier who was isolated and uh, Wesley just good enough to pounce on that, uh, on that ball when it was on the deck and earn that penalty. So, the Wesleyites will need to be a bit careful. This West Joseph in uh, forward pack is extremely dominant. Very physical outfit as well, so just got to ensure that uh, when they do have position, they maximize uh, what they get out of it. Yes, indeed, and as we just said that the weather could uh, turn torrid, uh, the rains have uh, come down at, uh, rather are coming down at Havelock Park as uh, Fernando prepares to throw into a four-man line-out. Overthrown this time, but unfortunately, well, uh, knocked on, not... Yes, indeed, the knocked on, says the referee. But it looked like it was uh, Janit Mara Singh on that occasion at the tail of the line out. Did not expect it to fall in his hands and uh, knocked it on cold. Yes, we have a look at that once again. Just missing the mark, but fortunately for Wesley, Wes, uh, Josephine's uh, just uh, unfortunately knocked the ball on. It was uh, Janit Mara Singh, uh, the guilty party on that occasion. So, a bit of a reprieve for Wesley. Now it'll be interesting to see, uh, Romario, how both these teams adjust to the weather conditions. It was uh, gloomy before the game started, but it was yet dry. But now there's a slight drizzle at the moment. So the conditions will definitely change. The teams will need to adapt their tactics as well as the game goes on. Yes, indeed. And uh, both teams uh, usually play good uh, wide rugby. But now this time with the weather coming down, they'll have to change their game plan as a big number eight of... Uh, Wesley College, Pereira goes forward, beats a couple of men, takes a couple of men to bring him down. Now Pereira, at the tail of the breakdown, gives it out to his uh, bi big lock forward. Hopwood to, to Javira, he puts a boot to ball. Isuru lining things up for St. Joseph's College, uh, not the best of takes, but a bit of, bit of a bubble. But uh, St. Joseph's College managed to... Uh, get yet another reprieve and looks like the kick was uh, taken by uh, Dahamja as he cleared lines for St. Joseph's College. Yes, interesting tactic by uh, Wesley on that occasion, giving the ball right back to their captain Javira who's got a massive boot on him. I think uh, that's something, another thing that has been uh, severely underutilized and especially in these wet, wet conditions, the kicking game is going to become more and more important for both teams. And it's something which Wesley will probably need to bring uh, Hopwood from the base and Jaivir uh, from that fullback position to make use that they, to make sure they use their boot to good effect. You have to come straight. We can see the drizzle; it's uh, becoming a much more heavier now at the grounds. Fernando throws into the line out, uh, well won uh, by at the sec number two channel. Now Jaivardhan gives it out to his uh, big prop forward, but uh, yet again. The weather taking its toll and the ball being knocked on by Pereira on that occasion. The big uh, prop forward. Pardon me, Elisha, if I'm not mistaken. As uh, the referee has uh, called for time off and uh, seems to be having a bit of a chat with the player. Yes, that was a big hit by uh, the Josephian defensive line. Referee just making sure that Elisha is okay. The first knock on. Come down. So we have a look at that replay once again. It was what you call the double tackle, isn't it? A gang tackle, as it were. As a result, just knocking the ball on itself. 
Teams will need to just be a bit more conscious when they do go into contact, Romario, considering the ball is going to be very wet now. Coach! Yes, indeed, uh, Abdullah, they will, they will surely have to slow the game down and keep a hold of position if they are to uh, make anything out of this game as uh, Vihanga feeds the scrum for St. Joseph's, pushed back by Wesley, but uh, Vihanga somehow clears it. Not the best of passes. Uh, charged, down, charged down as uh, Dilhara Subash seems to be isolated and the ball has uh, been uh, turned over by Wesley College. And now uh, straight away on the attack, Hapugala gives it out to his centre as uh, Wesley College uh, sets things up. <laughs> but uh, well, 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 uh, yet again uh, St. Joseph's College uh, prevail at the breakdown. <laughs> Looks like it was uh, Deshan on that occasion uh, going in, uh, putting his head into the dark places and uh, winning a turnover for St. Joseph's College. Yes, but you have to say that the Wesley did seem to have some players out wide. If they managed to shift the ball along that uh, left flank, could have got some good returns. But unfortunately, just taking the ball into contact and isolating himself was uh, Wesley's ball carrier. And uh, St. Joseph's uh, very good once again at the breakdown to man managing to uh, extract that penalty. Yes, indeed. Uh, great work by uh, not only the forwards but the backs as well. As we see that replay it was isolated uh, for a moment. Yes, and that was good enough. So again, Wesley uh, soldiers showing how dangerous they can be at the breakdown. Something that Wesley will need to keep in mind as this game moves forward. But to ensure they do track the ball carrier properly. Come off. 15 at the Hold up at the line out as uh, both teams uh, seem to get their numbers correct. And now it's uh, take two. Chamod Seneviratna to throw in uh, to this uh, St. Joseph's College line out. Well collected okay. by Sachin. Sachin but unfortunately, does not manage to transfer the ball even though the mall is uh, moving okay, uh, forward. Like, away. Now the ball away, is brought Blue. down. Blue away. Advantage. Turnover ball. Not trolling well, away. Well, uh, pardon me. There is uh, seem to be a penalty advantage. Penalty. Number five. Not the tackle away. not rolling away. Yes, indeed. As uh, St. Joseph's College uh, win the penalty. Number. A little bit of a scuffle by the number ten uh, Dilhar of uh, St. Joseph's College. Away. As uh, the referee says, uh, number five uh, Hapugal uh, not rolling away at that. Uh, Contest, but unfortunately, Dilara does not uh, manage to find touch. Now, uh, Jaivira puts a high hanging kick collected by Vihanga, gives it out to Dilara. He puts on a dummy, returns it back uh, to Vihanga. He puts in a bit of a chip kick, which is uh, collected and uh, marked by Hopwood. A bit of aimless kicking by both teams. Just playing uh, safety first. Cannot quite. Uh, blame them as well because conditions are a bit uh, wet currently so I want to play the territorial game as far as possible Hoppo takes the tap and punts the ball downfield one more, one more. Dilara Subash puts in a high hanging kick now Jayavira he decides to return the favour Isuru Kanchana lining things up uh, collects it well gives it out to skipper Teran I'm sure he would not uh, put boot to ball as he runs uh, straight into his opposite number He's uh, brought down in uh, a good tackle. And here goes uh, Navin Marasinga, beats one, puts out a big fend, uh, beats two. He's uh, brought down finally, isolated, but uh, somehow uh, manages to secure the position for St. Joseph's. Now, unfortunately, not the best of uh, kicks by uh, Vihanga. An aimless kick uh, to the opposition skipper. He makes a uh, good headway, okay. sets things up in centre field. Now, Wesley College. Uh, Hopwood uh, gives it out to Jayavad and uh, he decides to hang on to position and goes into contact. Hopwood back again. The big number eight. Uh, they send it through the hands as uh, Wesley College uh, seems to be getting a bit of a number on the outside. But uh, good uh, cover tackling uh, coming there by uh, the St. Joseph's College uh, players. Wall uh, seems to be knocked on by Wesley. I think uh, no one was Pushtan expecting to have the ball him. and uh, as, a, as a result of that, a, a knock-on. And now Wesley, uh, St. Joseph's College in an attack, attacking position. 
Yes, it's sense that both teams uh, are yet a bit nerv nervous, isn't it, uh, Romario? Just don't seem to have settled down yet, don't seem to have found much rhythm as well. Both captains. Just making some captains. unforced errors uh, when they do have possession. So I'm sure that uh, as this game progresses, they'll want to settle down, just try and find their composure. And uh, get their game plans uh, going. Yes, indeed. I think the weather, the rain coming in just cool upset like uh, the apple game cart game for game. both right? teams okay. as uh, Go to your teams neither of them right, have right, right, managed right, right. to settle down right, with right. 15 minutes gone on the clock. Captain, captain. The referee looks like uh, he had a bit of a discussion and uh, he's uh, set to resume uh, play after a slight hold up. Both teams come, won't come, have quick, quick, easy Abdullah also with the rain coming down and I think uh, patterns and game plans will uh, change drastically. Yes and you could see that in the early exchanges of this game both teams are taking quick, a safety first uh, approach isn't it whenever the ball is kicked to them they're just kicking the ball back not wanting to take any chances and play the territorial game, which I think is the correct way to go about it, especially considering the conditions uh, uh, that are prevalent uh, at this particular moment. Playing the conditions and uh, not uh, sticking to your strengths. Hopefully it will not uh, cost uh, either side. As uh, Vihanga feeds the scrum. Good pressure coming in by Wesley. And looks like an advantage as well as uh, Mahara Singer fights his way. To come uh, down to ground. It's a penalty. Yes, You're indeed, going up. the penalty comes in favour of uh, Saint Joseph's College as uh, Wesley College weren't uh, shoving uh, straight at that uh, scrum, illegal, illegal uh, scrummage. In uh, says the referee, as uh, now Saint Joseph's College with uh, yet another penalty and a good attacking platform to attack from. Yes, normally you'd say that they'd like to have gone for the three points, but uh, I think their driving ball has worked uh, very well so far. So seem to have got a bit of confidence in that, and I'm sure they'll be looking to use that from this situation. But yet, in these knockout games, uh, points on the board just crucial. Uh, as we have a look at that once again. Mara Singh had his hands on the ball. I don't think there was anything wrong by Hopwood, but the penalty was a bit earlier for the infringement at the scrum. An eight-man uh, line out uh, for Chamod to pick his targets, okay, and he finds uh, Sachin Talanka at the line out. Here goes the big uh, Saint Joseph's yeah. College uh, forwards, not but it uh, looks back. like the ball has been uh, turned over. It's accidental obstruction. Yes, indeed. Well, uh, not too, too, not too sure what happened there on that occasion, but the referee said that there was a bit of obstruction, accidental obstruction, and uh, the scrum goes in favour of uh, Saint Joseph's College. Yeah, that's right. That's a good work at the breakdown by Wesley to turn the ball over, but uh, unfortunately for them, uh, the person who poached the ball actually ran into one of his players who was in front of him, so the referee decided uh, to call for an accidental offside. So another chance for St. Joseph's to launch an attack just about uh, 15 meters away from their goal line. So have a look at that once again. Nice back peel by uh, the Five. Josephians going into contact. Six. Steady ball! We younger from uh, center field scrum. Feeds it in uh, for St. Joseph's College and Navin Marasinga from the base picks it up. Uh, isn't brought, uh, rather is brought down by the, his uh, opposite number. Now uh, the St. Joseph's College uh, forwards uh, now, holding on to position. Tackle. The referee says tackle as uh, the man uh, comes down. Lanka picks the ball up. Uh, Sets things up. Roll away, roll away. Sachin Tana, that was, uh, pardon me, as uh, St. Joseph's College uh, continue to go with their forwards. Not gaining, gaining uh, too much of meters, but uh, Navin Marasinga uh, manages to get them uh, some uh, front football. Here goes uh, Jehan, beats a couple of men and takes a couple of them to bring him down as uh, St. Joseph's College uh, continue to hold on to position. Now we hunger, puts a little footwork, uh, tries to sneak, but is uh, brought down. St. Joseph's College now with momentum last board, last board. as the forwards uh, continue to rumble forward inch by inch. Side balls, side balls. Here goes uh, St. Joseph's College uh, through Rodrigo, the big man. Now Lanka 
picks and goes. Uh, finds uh, himself on the other side of uh, a Wesley College player. Looks like an advantage. Yes, indeed, an advantage coming for St. Joseph's College. Now they have an opportunity. A free card. But uh, before anything, the referee says there was a holding on. And they will go back for the penalty advantage in favor of uh, St. Joseph's College. Yes, a good passage of play by the Josephian forwards. Continuously uh, threatened that uh, Wesley defensive line. Unfortunately for them, I think it was uh, Tabit, the prop forward, who was uh, guilty of not rolling away, but he was more or less trapped. So an interesting tactic by the Josephians. They're taking the short tap. Doubtless they'll go to their big man, Mara Singha, who takes the ball up. Well defended by the Wesleyites. And looks, uh, have they lost the ball? Yes, indeed. It looks like uh, St. Joseph's College have a lost position. And uh, position is uh, coming in favor of Wesley College as uh, Hopwood puts a uh, boot to ball from the box. Collected by Deshan Taraka. Beats the first man, beats the second man. Now with um, yards in front of him. Ta Unfortunately, Tehran's pass uh, does not uh, find a colleague as uh, now Hopwood uh, puts boot to ball and uh, Jaivira chasing. Here goes uh, Tehran. Beats a couple of, rather beats one man and uh, the ball uh, looks to be Stand. bubbling Stand. forward but the referee says no as uh, Vihanga from the base. Doesn't have the luxury of uh, going out on the full but uh, that's exactly what he does. And now the momentum seems to be shifting in favour of Wesley College. Terrific defence by Wesleyites. You have to give it to them. On their, try, on their goal line virtually. Good work at the breakdown, turning the ball over and then Hopwood using his kick from the base to turn pressure over onto the Josephian side. But again, Romar, you have to question, knockout game, who, should they have gone for the points earlier on? Yes, indeed, undoubtedly. In these uh, knockout games, uh, points on the board is uh, pressure for, uh, on the opposition. But uh, quite surprising, uh, St. Joseph's College uh, opted on a couple of op occasions to not take the three. And now momentum has uh, shifted as uh, skipper Jayavira is uh, seeming to get be getting a bit of uh, treatment. I'll check. <coughs> Hopefully, Time on. the missed opportunities doesn't come back to haunt the Josephians. Come on. So points are just come on. so crucial yeah, in this yeah. uh, kind of scenario, a semi-final, a knockout game. And it's not just... Uh, at that particular moment, it's a tone that you set for the rest of the game when you do get those first points on the board. Maybe mm. it's a tactic which uh, the Josephians will have to revisit if they do make it into the Wesley uh, half uh, again. Fernando does not uh, find his man, but is the ball is collected at the tail of the line out for Wesley. Now the big forwards uh, rumbling forward. Here is the number eight, Pereira. Back, tracks uh, four defenders and uh, places the ball backwards. Big uh, prop forward, uh, Tabit for Wesley College, uh, setting things up. Uh, good uh, momentum uh, by the forwards. No, no, no. Now Hopwood gives it out to Jayavadana. He gives it out to the big man, but a loose pass well uh, collected by the centre on that occasion. Uh, Jayasinghe, still back, Wesley back. with position, front football. Now Tabith puts his head down but uh, opts to drop it short to Pereira. Hopwood uh, misses his first man but uh, goes to Jayavadana. He beats a couple and is uh, brought down. Good uh, momentum by Wesley College uh, with an advantage on the back of their play as uh, they set things up. Now Hopwood uh, gives it out to Jayavadana. He gives it out to his centre. Now a man on the outside and looks like it's a first try and yes it is. <laughs> That is the first try for Wesley College. Better. Number 14, uh, Rodrigo on that occasion. The referee is uh, still in consultation uh, with his AR. Okay, okay so try. Thank you. <coughs> but uh, time on? AR says uh, time is back on and the, rather the referee says time is back on and yes, the try is awarded to Rodrigo and a good uh, passage of play yields the points for Wesley. Yes, good enterprise shown by uh, the Wesleyites as we have a look at that once again. Some good distribution by Hopwood as well. Again, uh, Jaiwardhan just straightening this line. Jaiwira again, one beautifully drawing the 
defense and getting it out uh, to his wing three quarter Rodrigo to go for the first try so just the start which uh, Wesley uh, would have wanted to get the first score of the game it's be taken them 23 minutes to do so but more importantly they are on the board and that will give them a lot of confidence uh, as this game progresses yes indeed uh, great bit of hands there by uh, the center three quarters Jayavardhan, Jai Singh uh, and uh, Jayavir are all finding uh, the perfect hands and the perfect skill at the correct moment gives it out to the winger and he makes no mistake in the corner yes and the good thing about that uh, phase of play uh, Romario was how straight the three quarters ran they just ran straight drew the man and they kick and they preserved space for their wing three quarter Rodrigo who had enough of uh, room to just uh, go over for the line he hardly had anything to do because uh, the smart work was done before the, before him by his inside backs Yes, indeed, uh, running uh, straight, rather straightening the, straighten the line is vital. And that's exactly what they did as uh, Jayavardhana unfortunately hits the, the crossbar as uh, the score remains 5-0 uh, in favour of uh, Wesley College with 24 minutes on the clock. Yes, well, the first 20 minutes it had been all St. Joseph's, wasn't it, Romario? They basically uh, based in... Uh, the Wesleyites half launching phase after phase had a couple of opportunities to go at the post but decided uh, to, try, to try their hand uh, with the line out drive and a quick tap didn't work out Wesley turned position over get got back into their own half and managed to get uh, a score bit of uh, miscommunication following the restart by Wesley but uh, they somehow managed to uh, collect position and set things up inside their own 22 Hopwood off the base has the luxury of uh, going outside but uh, doesn't opt to do so now we hunger gives it out to Tehran good uh, defense coming in uh, by uh, Jai Singh on that occasion and looks like uh, Tehran is being held up yes indeed held up as uh, the referee says and the turnover ball uh, in favor of uh, Wesley College momentum and pressure seeming to be shifting against uh, St. Joseph's it's a very smart bit of defensive work by the Wesleyites. Uh, the skipper, go, 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 Joe Skipper Kaunanaika, just finding himself a little bit isolated. And the entire uh, Joseph uh, defensive line just came up and held him up and managed to turn the ball over. Again, Hopfoot's the kicking from the base has been really good. He's gaining a lot of yardage as well as we have a look at that once again. Kaunanaika just breaking a couple of tackles, but. Uh, some really good work. I think it was by the fly half Jaiwira who came from behind and held uh, Karanaika up. So some really clever bit of defensive work uh, by the Wesley fly half. Indeed, now Hopwood goes on the blind side, gives it out to Jayavardhana. He beats the first man, gets a, a lovely ball out of the back, but unfortunately doesn't find the man. But it's rescued by Wesley College, still with possession. Advantage. Big uh, forwards are taking a couple of men to bring them down and they do have a penalty high advantage for high tackle. Looks like it's uh, number, number 11 what the referee says. High tackle, high tackle high. penalty in favour of Wesley College and now with an uh, opportunity to go to touch and uh, extend their lead. Hopwood. Doesn't get uh, a lot of uh, yardage, but most importantly, he's managed to put it into touch. So the Wesleyites, within the last uh, seven to eight minutes, are really putting the screws on uh, this Josephian team. We have a look at that once again. Nice initial break by Jai uh, Wardener, but you'd have to question, did he need to have gone with that fancy behind the back pass? If he had just drawn the man and just given a normal pass, I'm sure they would have been uh, fine to for his winger to uh, make a sprint for the line, but uh, decided to go with a fancy pass and unfortunately did not uh, find his target. Fernando, unfortunately, does not uh, execute the line out to the best of his ability as uh, St. Joseph's College opt for a scrum and a chance to get out of jail. It's also at line out time. I think the teams uh, we're talking about adapting to the conditions, uh, Romario. It's a wet ball. 
and I don't know whether the going to the back of the line out is the best possible option in these conditions on your, unless you are very, very precise and sure of your throw. So again, it's just a matter of adapting to these conditions. I think these uh, minor basic errors are what uh, mounts up against you at the end of the day. And uh, both teams will be looking uh, to uh, correct those uh, little errors as the two number nines. Good uh, scrum coming in uh, by Wesley College. But uh, the referee, ca referee calls for a reset. A lot of pressure applied on that Josephian scrum. Front rows, front rows. Right. Front rows. It's a bit of it's quite smart by the Wesleyites, uh, Romare, because when they do apply a little bit of pressure, even on the Josephian scrum, it puts Marasing on the back foot, isn't it? He doesn't get any momentum to uh, go forward because he is the danger man as far as uh, the Wesleyites are concerned. So at least by applying that kind of pressure at scrum time, they'll at least. Uh, nullify that threat to a certain extent. Yes indeed and not forgetting that uh, they can only shove that scrum for five meters and uh, not more than that uh, correction uh, one meter and uh, not more than that in these uh, under 19 uh, variations which apply to these games. We hunger prepares to feed in the scrum. Pressure continues to come from Wesley but now we hunger at the base. Gives it out to uh, Rodrigo. He puts uh, boot to ball and uh, clears his lines well. But uh, unfortunately, it looks like uh, a bit of uh, back chat from uh, Wesley College and a penalty in favor of St. Joseph's College. These are unnecessary penalties. Uh, if you are a Wesley coach, you'll be pulling your hair out. Number 12, not 5 meters. Yeah, I think it was the fact that uh, the Wesley line advanced from the five meters before the ball was out. And I think that's why they were being uh, penalized by the referee on that occasion. So, a bit of a referee for the Josephians. Just got to make it count, isn't it, Romario? That first 20 minutes, they really dominated territorially, but they just couldn't get anything out of it. The Wesleyites turned position over, got into the... Josephian and half probably for the second time of the game and they managed to come out with five points so just shows that you've just got to take every opportunity you get to put points on the board indeed and also oh, no, when no, you no, visit no. your opposition Boys. 22 Clear gap. you need to come right. back with uh, some points okay. because if you do not do so it will uh, no doubt uh, mount against you and uh, come back to bite you as Chamod uh, Seneviratna Finds Lanka from the front, but uh, the line out is uh, brought down and now looks like there is an advantage for West St. Joseph's College. Now in Marasinga, beats a couple of men, Vihanga goes in and gives it out to Dilhara. He puts uh, a contestable up and under, but uh, not the best. However, the penalty advantage uh, looks like is uh, coming in favour of uh, St. Joseph's College as uh, the referee is... Uh, Going to his AR for consultation. So I think uh, there was an infringement at line out time. Spotted by uh, the assistant referee Atavara. So we having a small word with uh, the Wesley team. I think it was Nimsar, isn't it? Uh, just pleading his case, probably saying that he was competing in there fairly, but uh, you cannot infringe with the uh, players while they are in there. Indeed, you cannot uh, touch the man who goes up in the air to contest the line out. Rodrigo puts uh, ball to boot and uh, finds, uh, peels away some uh, good meters. And now St. Joseph's College uh, straight away into the Opposition 22, as we look on, as the fans look on. A few players from that 2013 uh, President's Trophy win winners uh, of uh, Wesley College. In the fans uh, cheering their team on as uh, Chamod Fernando finds uh, Lanka at the front of the line out. Sachin Tanas tries to peel away and uh, set up the mall but uh, is uh, brought down legally. Now the big uh, prop forward for St. Joseph's College 
finds a few meters. Back, get back. Naveen Marasinghe is tackle. brought down well. Number seven, it's a block tackle. As the referee has his hands out for a advantage penalty advantage, so it's a bit of a free run for the Josephians if they want to make use of it. Now Vihanga gives it out to Subash. He steps away from the first man, but is brought down in a good tackle. Vihanga still playing with advantage for St. Joseph's College, sets things up, the big forwards. Vishika picks the ball up and goes. The referee says knocked back and play on. Now Sachintana. Good uh, momentum gained for the Josephians as a big uh, forwards uh, rumble their way forward. Again, the referee had his hands out for an uh, offside infringement. There goes uh, Rodrigo, beats uh, the first man but is brought down. Now Vihanga with the uh, fast ball gives it out to Deshan but unfortunately no man on his outside and he's brought down well as the referee goes back for the penalty advantage. Switchers time off. Number seven, number seven. No, no. Yes, number seven. Number seven. <laughs> Looks like he's escalating he things. Block tackle without the arm. No, no excuses. Yellow yes, indeed. And the referee give, shows the yellow to number That's seven it? of uh, Wesley College. Nimsar on that occasion. A couple of uh, infringements. And he gets his uh, marching orders for ten minutes in the bin. Yeah. Yes, uh, I think uh, there's just far too many penalties being conceded by Wesley, just so close to the tri try line. It's uh, known as the red zone as well, so I think the referee had no option but to go to his pocket. Time on. Yes, and uh, St. Joseph's College uh, block continue to, opt to go for the line out as uh, Rodrigo puts it in, and uh, St. Joseph's are just about uh, seven meters out from the opposition try line. With a couple of minutes left on our clock. Yes, they had, a, uh, they had uh, two penalty options. One under the post and one towards the 15 meter line from where they uh, oh, wow. took the kick to touch. Max ball, Max ball. Just wonder whether just so close to half time. Do you understand that Wesley are down to 14 players? Should they have taken the three points? Having said Take that, uh, Sachin Tana at the line out uh, sets them all up. Break, breaks away for St. Joseph's College. Still with position, a couple of meters out. Here goes the big uh, forwards for St. Joseph's College. Now Naveen Marasinghe, rather Sachin Tana, he's uh, over the line but unfortunately falls on his back. Doesn't, uh, isn't able uh, to ground the ball as the referee says the ball is held up. Another great piece of uh, defense there by Wesley College. As the referee has a glance to his watch. Yes, another missed opportunity for no, no. Josephs, you'd have to say. Goal line dropout, yeah. They just had the, uh, taken those three points so close okay, to half time. They would have yet had the advantage of having an uh, extra man at least seven minutes into that second half. Five meters, but five now meters. Nothing to show for their efforts. Jarai says Keeper Jaiwe is going back. to really hoof this right down the field. Doesn't yeah. get much uh, yardage. Hey, we have to say a pretty poor dropout kick now, by Jaiwe. And again, uh, putting his team under a bit of pressure. Chance for the West Josephians to launch another attack. Jehan with the ball. Now St. Joseph's College uh, still opt to hold uh, and uh, keep Get it back. with the forwards. Sachin Tana takes it up. Yeah, Navin Marasinghe from close range uh, takes a couple of men to bring him down. Now Dilhara gives it out to Rodrigo, but uh, good uh, rush defense coming in. Now Tehran, Isuru Kanchana with a man on the outside, uh, but uh, is uh, brought down well. St. Joseph's College uh, looks to be isolated. Yes, isolated, uh, says the referee holding on. But the referee says there is a penalty and uh, they will go back for the advantage. However, before that, he wants to consult his AR. Blue 
it's your last warning. Yeah. You can't throw the ball, right? I will start with the penalty here. They have options, right? Okay, four. Last warning. Captain. The referee laying down the law. An offside for Hopwood as uh, St. Joseph's College have the yeah. opportunity to start the with the uh, two penalties from either side. <laughs> They continue uh, to take it uh, from uh, near touch and uh, looks like uh, Tehran finds a good touch finder. Five meters out from the try line, St. Joseph's College. Looks like uh, time is up on the clock but with uh, one final opportunity. Boys, numbers. So again, uh, just the guilty Six. of running across. Probably needed to straighten out a bit. He's lost the ball in contact as well. Again, the Josephians had an option of you getting the penalty, taking the penalty, which is under the, the post, but deciding to go to the to go to touch once again. Got to make this count. Now Chamod finds Come his on. target at the back of the line out. St. Joseph's College Mall setting things up, moving forward uh, meter by meter, inch by inch. Still going forward. The opportunity. Has uh, presented himself, but uh, St. Joseph's College just seemed to make a scrap out of it. And uh, yes, indeed, uh, straight away goes off his feet. Uh, Sachi Sachinthan on that occasion and uh, gives the penalty in uh, favor of uh, Wesley College as uh, yet another attacking opportunity goes astray. <laughs> and uh, that is it uh, at uh, for the half time. St. Joseph's College uh, trailing by five points. To a single try from the Wesley College winger, a scrappy first half comes to an end, Abdullah. Yes, and the Josephians will really rue this, uh, the decisions they have made in that last uh, 15 minutes or so of that first half, uh, Romario. Had the opportunity of going to the post, getting some points on the board. And, for all, and unfortunately, for all the efforts in that first half, they have absolutely nothing to show for that. And that will be really, uh, while it will frustrate them on one hand, it will definitely... Uh, give a lot of confidence for the Wesleyites going into that second half. Yes, indeed. Uh, Wesley College uh, leading uh, St. Joseph's College 5-0. Uh, it was uh, Rodrigo, the uh, solitary try scorer in this uh, first half as uh, the weather did not uh, hold up here at uh, Havelock Park. The highlights of the first half uh, Wesley College uh, did have the opportunity early on and uh, this was the try. The hands, uh, good hands shown by the back line. Javier uh, gives it out to the to his winger Rodrigo as uh, he went over for the only try here at Havelock Park. Weather did not hold but uh, Wesley College managed to get a solitary try as uh, the rains open up here at uh, Havelock Park. Do stay tuned for the second half. We will be back after a short commercial break. Rashne barbecue na uttare crisps. Melbourne savoury click kick barbecue click kick. Main na barbecue, ne? Fun lifestyle lagra TCL matamai. Other kaale ta. Abar kaale ta. TCL matam singa vetin abar the gala pena TCL 20 series. Introducing Quickie.lk, Sri Lanka's favourite online marketplace with a wide range of product categories. Pharmaceuticals, automobile, groceries, electronics, flowers and cakes, homeware and appliances, and special services such as Quickie Concierge and Quickie SOS. Providing you with multiple payment options, quick delivery and reliable customer support. Get anything you want delivered anywhere in Sri Lanka with special late night delivery until 3 a.m. within Colombo and suburbs. Download the quickie.lk mobile app on your Android or iOS device or visit www.quickie.lk. Quickie.lk. Convenience delivered. I know, I know, puta. Hey, you're going to get a little bit of 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 a little bit
<laughs> I know. Welcome to the universe of the Raz. Whatever you want, whatever you need, all you can imagine is on your feet. When miles are abridged, happiness is unlocked. Okay. Discover your Daraz. Pain? Don't let it get you down. For instant pain relief, Baraka Joint Ease Fast Action Spray. Baraka Joint Ease Spray, your pain relief partner on the field. Prasne crispy nang uttare crispo. Melibun savory kikke crispy kikke ka. Crispy ne? Crispy ne? For instant pain relief, Baraka Joint Ease Fast Action Spray, your pain relief partner on the field. Daras lokete ekatuena. ඔබට සැරි සරන්න සිත් සේතෝරා ගන්න හැම දෙයම ඔබ ළඟටම කොතන හිටියත් එකම යායක් අසීමිත සතුටක් පත්ති දෙන්න ඔබේ දරස් සොයා ගන්න What's the best ceiling sheet, Mr. Basu? That's the I know ceiling, the Rhino ceiling, a wood pattern finish. I know. You can color it your way. The plain ceiling, Rhino. The roofing's Rhino. Oh, the ceiling's Rhino. Incredible strength, I know. Durability, that's high. I know. Cost effective too, I know. It's the best choice always. Rhino. Over half a century of trust. Now in a new formula, Rhino roofing and ceiling sheets. I know, Rhino. Mona dalu meme kisi crispy kati ani ani. Crispy ne? De thoru me kar 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 happy ne? Kar 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 happy ne wa. Mona kyu ne? Crispy case me thoru be. Prasne crispy nang uttare crispo. Melbourne savory kikke ke. We live in a world that's rapid and demanding. We live in a community that values trust and reliability. So what if speed and convenience had a new makeover? Introducing the new Quickie.lk. Sri Lanka's favorite online marketplace, Quickie.lk, convenience delivered. Prashne barbecue na uttare crisp, Melbourne savory click kick ke barbecue click kick ke. Main na barbecue, ne? Fun lifestyle lagra TCL matamai. Other kaale ta. Other kaale ta. TCL matamai. Singa the din other the galapen a TCL 20 series. Introducing Quickie.lk, Sri Lanka's favorite online marketplace with a wide range of product categories. Pharmaceuticals, automobile, groceries, electronics, flowers and cakes, homeware and appliances, and special services such as Quickie Concierge and Quickie SOS. Providing you with multiple payment options, quick delivery and reliable customer support. Get anything you want delivered anywhere in Sri Lanka with special late night delivery until 3 a.m. within Colombo and suburbs. Download the Quickie.lk mobile app on your Android or iOS device or visit www.quickie.lk. Quickie.lk convenience delivered. I know, I know, puta. Hey, baya, gider ni di ani ma amu tu tenek. Kalaguni ko huna. Rhino nang walata safe tamai mulu gedarama Rhino cement roofing sheets then you know Rhino <laughs> I know Welcome to the universe of the Raz whatever you want whatever you need all you can imagine is on your feet when miles are abridged happiness is unlocked discover your the Raz pain Don't let it get you down. For instant pain relief, Baraka Joint Ease Fast Action Spray. Baraka Joint Ease Spray, your pain relief partner on the field. Prasne crispy nang uttare crispo. Melbourne savory kick ke crispy kick ke. Crispy ne? Crispy kore? 
for instant pain relief. Baraka Joint Ease Fast Action Spray. Your pain relief partner on the field. Dara's locate ekatuena. Open a sarisarana. Sit seto rakana. Hammer them open langatama. Kotena hitiak. Ekamayak. A scene the sabotak. Patina. Obe Daras Soyagana. What's the best ceiling sheet, Mr. Basu? That's the I know ceiling, the rhino ceiling, a wood pattern finish. I know. You can color it your way. The plain ceiling, rhino. The roofing's rhino. Oh. The ceiling. We're back at uh, Havelock Park as uh, St. Joseph's College uh, prepare to kick off uh, the second half. Of course, uh, trailing on the scoreboard uh, five points to nil. St. Joseph's College will be ruining their chances for not uh, taking them uh, with uh, the penalties they received uh, in front of the post. Abdul Fernando finds Hapugal at the front. Uh, Some more. Bit uh, scrappy, but uh, they manage uh, to set them all in favor of uh, Wesley. But it's uh, now brought down. Hapugal uh, gives it out to Jai Singh and he gives a short ball to Jai Vira who straightens the line in a good uh, line uh, running uh, towards uh, the defense. But uh, Wesley managed uh, to hold on to position. Now Tabit beats a couple of men and loses the ball forward. Vihanga gives it out to Dilhara Subash as he puts uh, Butch to ball. Did not have uh, the opportunity to go straight out on the full. Now Javardana puts on a bit of footwork. Uh, beats one but is uh, brought down uh, for sent by the Josephian defence. Wesley straight back with position. Hapugal puts uh, Butch to ball. Dilhara Subash lining it up and uh, collects it inside the 22. Don't Brings ball, it out ball. and uh, puts Number in a one. good kick. Finds a good... Uh, ground and uh, bounces into touch a good uh, phase of a couple of phases of attacking uh, from uh, both teams and uh, st joseph's college with a net gain yes some good territorial kicking by uh, the josephians on that occasion just getting back into the wesley it's half finding some space at the back of that uh, wesley defensive line The Wesley back three just not covering all the spaces, anticipating a return kick. As a result, they find themselves in their own half. Fernando to a four man line out uh, goes to the center, but uh, looks like uh, it's been a, there has been a bit of a knock on by uh, St. Joseph's College, is what the referee says. And he'll go back to the 15 meter line for the scrum. Yes, again, the lineouts causing problems for both teams. Hasn't been as precise as they would like. They haven't been able to get any good clean ball for them to uh, execute their plans. I have to say some good spoiling work as well, but uh, probably the coordination, the accuracy has been lacking at lineout time from both teams. Lineups have uh, surely been in shambles for both teams. Neither of them uh, managing uh, to set a platform to attack from. 
But now Hopwood feeds the seven man scrum. He picks and goes on the blind side, gives it out to Javadana, but uh, the wind recorder is uh, pushed into touch by uh, Navin. Some good uh, defense shown there by uh, the St. Joseph's College uh, line. And of course, uh, Navin has to go back uh, to the line as he as the scrums are seven men. The Wesley Wing are getting a bit of attention. I think uh, when he was bundled into touch, uh, did he make any contact with one of those sideboards, uh, Romario? It's just the concern I have. Maybe the replay will show once again. Was it a bit of a head clash as well? I don't think it was a case of uh, <coughs> making any contact with any of the sideboards as uh, initially yeah. thought. It was uh, yeah. contact with uh, Mara Singha. No damage done. That seems to be up. Just getting a bit of treatment uh, from the physio. Now Chamod finds Lanka at the tail of the line out. This time a good collection. Sachintana is uh, brought down in a good tackle. Jacqueline needs to roll out from the advantage. advantage coming in favor of uh, St. Joseph's College as we hunger. Gives it out to his big forwards, uh, telling them to take it off the base. Ball pops out from the line, uh, the, the breakdown as uh, Dilhara Subash beats a couple of men, but he's uh, brought down in a good tackle. We hunger. Barking orders, barking instructions to his forwards. Sachintan on that occasion takes it in and goes, sets things up. Now Vihanga gives it out to Navin. He runs hard and straight but is brought down. Rodrigo with the opportunity, had the opportunity to pass but opted, uh, decided against it. So holding on. Good uh, Stop. breakdown play by Wesley Captain. but uh, the referee is uh, going back for Captain. the advantage. Will St. Joseph's opt for the three points at least this time? For the high tackle. Sorry, for the line offside. Right? What do you want? Right? Line offside. Yes, I think uh, the message has come very clearly from their coaching staff at half time. Take the points whenever you do get a chance. Offside, repeatedly, then me. Tungi penalty again. Right? So referee just having a quiet word with uh, Jayavira. So we have a look at that replay once again. Nice uh, collection by the Josephians at line out. Just trying a okay. front peel, as it were. The, the Wesley <laughs> defender not rolling Time away. Outside. So as a result, penalized. Yeah. This time, Josephians do decide to go to the post. Yes, indeed. I think a correct decision straight away to get uh, the scoreboard like tick in and to cut this deficit to two points. Dilhara Subash with the opportunity from uh, right in front. Takes his time. Eyes things up and um, pierces the post and makes no mistake for St. Joseph's College. Dilhara Subash with the first points of the day as uh, St. Joseph's College uh, claw back three points to five. However, Wesley still lead. Yes, uh, just the start the Josephians would have wanted. Got some points on the board and still they have that extra man advantage at least for the next couple of minutes or so. Looks like the Josephians have uh, spilled the ball from that kickoff. Chance for the Wesleyites to launch an attack. Great heads up play there by uh, the Wesley College lads. They did uh, seem to take the kickoff, uh, rather, the restart uh, fast, quickly, and uh, caught uh, the Josephians napping. And uh, the ball was uh, knocked on, and now it'll be a scrum as uh, we see that replay. Yes. Uh, well struck, comfortable penalty, three points on the board for the Josephians. Now they have got some work to do right on the 25 meter mark. 
Scrum for the Wesleyites. Set. Yes, indeed, and uh, looks like uh, Wesley College have uh, been uh, have received the man out of the bin, and uh, looks like it's a uh, 15 on 15 again, as uh, the big forwards. Uh, the flank on that occasion, Chamod coming in from the bin and taking the ball up, up ahead. Here goes Tabit. He sets things up. Wesley with momentum. Chamod picks and goes again. Drives his feet and makes a couple of yards. Still holding on to position but some good defense coming in by Navin. But Wesley still with position. Pereira picks the ball up, beats a couple of men, but is brought down. But the uh, defender coming in behind him went uh, straight away off his feet and uh, sealed the ruck. And that's exactly what the referee says as well. Yes, you have to give it to the referee. He's been very consistent in that aspect of the game. The player who is tagging on to the ball carrier has got to support his body weight when he does try to uh, clear the ball. That occasion, the Wesley supporting player just went right off his feet and very correctly was deemed uh, to have uh, not supported his body weight. Cardinal error by uh, St. Joseph's College as uh, they do not find touch and a good uh, run by uh, Chai Vardhana, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, with the contest. As uh, Wesley yet again uh, wins position. Uh, Pereira beats a couple of men but is uh, brought down. Hopwood. Bubbled it a bit but uh, got it away to his uh, forwards and now Gammam Pillar no, 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 takes no, no, the ball no, no. up and uh, goes into attack. Sachin Tana was in a prime position to steal it but unfortunately the referee says uh, let it go as uh, now Wesley College uh, had the opportunity but unfortunately skipper Jaiwar, Jaiweer uh, butterfingers and a wet ball not uh, aiding their cause. Yes, it's not the kind of uh, day to be throwing those Lagadiyan long passes, cut out passes. Just got to be a bit more aware of the conditions and uh, play according to it. Wesley just uh, managing to get a bit of front football, but uh, they just got to go through the hands really if they want to spread it out wide. Long spinning pass, very difficult to collect those uh, at best of times. And uh, when uh, you have conditions such as this, it makes it very hard to hold on to those kind of passes. Just come for the Josephians, an opportunity to clear their lines, get back into the Wesley half. Yes, and also you can uh, vote for the uh, the Papara.com most popular schoolboy cricketer for the year 2022. Voting is now open. Tilaras. Correction, uh, Vihanga Randeep uh, feeds the scrum, but uh, still uh, good Contest. pressure coming in. Again Vihanga side. gets the ball away with an advantage. Bit of uh, shambles there, the play for both teams. And a bit of Ajibaji as well, but uh, nothing uh, too bad as uh, wait, wait, wait. the referee calls a halt to play. To and looks like he's uh, going to reset the scrum. No, no, it's a penalty. Well, uh, correction, seven, not a reset outside. of the scrum, he's going for the penalty. Yes, I think the Wesley uh, back Number row seven. was not bound at the scrum on that occasion. Number six. So, number six of uh, Wesley, I think it's uh, Fernando on that occasion, not staying bound. An opportunity for the Josephians to uh, get back into the Wesley half. It's just uh, those very... Um, Silly errors, you'd have to say, Romario. Players at this level should know the rules or to abide by them. And when you don't, you just put yourself, your, yourself and your team under so much of pressure. Now it's uh, Chamod Seneviratna after a good time, touch find from uh, Rodrigo. Good uh, collection at the front of the line out for St. Joseph's College. Looks like it was Lanka on that occasion again. St. Joseph's College uh, still with position. Here goes ball in, the ball big in. man. Lost the ball, bit of a bubble in his hand, but uh, still managed to hold on back, for St. Joseph's back, College. 
the big forwards uh, continue to keep it close, up close and uh, tight. Now Vihanga gives it out to Dilhara. He gives it out to Rodrigo. On a good uh, short line comes the skipper Tehran beating a couple of men, making good headway. One man to beat, but he's uh, brought down in a good tackle. St. Joseph's College uh, still with the possession. And uh, now in a uh, prime uh, attack in uh, real estate at, uh, as Naveen makes uh, good meters, uh, beats a couple of men, but is uh, brought to the ground. Run away, run away. Still with uh, good uh, position is uh, St. Joseph's College. The whole line. This time, uh, however, looks like uh, there has been a bit of a ceiling off by uh, the Josephians and the referee goes back for the advantage. It's a good passage of play by the Josephians. Through number one. Wonderful Hijacker. angle by Karuna Number Ratna. Just Karuna, Karuna Ratna. He sliced through Hijacker. that uh, High tackle. Number 12 one. 13 channel. Made good inroads. Some desperate defense by uh, the Wesley Ice is what uh, halted that uh, run by the Josephian skipper. Nonetheless, they managed to get a penalty for their efforts. Will they go for the post? Yes, and looks like they have pointed at the post. Once again, the correct choice. Definitely asking a lot of questions of this Wesley outfit. The initial stages of this uh, second half. Now Dilara Subash with uh, his uh, second opportunity and the chance to take uh, St. Joseph's College into the lead for the first time. Last warning now. Takes a deep breath, lines things up. Dilara Subash makes no mistake off the tee. Adds his uh, second penalty and uh, St. Joseph's College uh, take the lead for the first time in this game. Six points to five uh, with uh, 49 minutes played here at Havelock Park. Yes, for the first time in this game, the Josephians do go into the lead. So have a look at that replay. Struck really well, bisecting the uprights. So Josephians will be a much more settled and confident outfit now. It's up to the Wesleyites to strike back soon as possible. Nice hanging kick by Jayavira. Good pressure applied and as a result of that a knock-on. Yes, a slight knock-on coming in by the uh, St. Joseph's College players. Straight after scoring points, unfortunately just uh, switching off and uh, now they present an opportunity for Wesley College to attack from. Yes, so Hopwood been in the thick of everything that Wesley has done today. It's communicating, getting the calls right. It's important for the Wesleyites in the context of this game to try and get the next score. is around the island as uh, Hopwood feeds the scrum. Scrum moving hold. forward. Set. Now he gives it out to Javadana. Gives it out to this, his uh, center. Had an opportunity. Jassing, uh, but unfortunately he's uh, brought yeah, down and uh, straight away the penalty in favor of uh, St. Joseph's College. Holding on, says the referee. Yes, unfortunately, just a bit guilty. Eh? Of getting himself isolated, got Captain. over that first line of defense. Yes, and uh, straight away, Hopwood, I think, uh, looks like he pushed his luck a bit too much. Rolled the ball away from uh, the Josephian uh, scrum right. off. The referee laying the law down. Right. It's the last warning. Next time on that court, it will be a card. Okay? Go back. The Joseph Wesleyites probably a bit unlucky on that occasion. Did brilliantly well to make that first uh, line break, but unfortunately, it was the number 13, uh, Kavita, just could not link up with his rest, to the rest of his uh, supporting three quarters. Just found himself isolated. 
Great touch find there by uh, Rodrigo as we see that uh, replay. Yes, as you can see, good initial break, looking for the support. Everyone was just running their own lines. But again, you'd have to say, uh, probably Jai Vardhan was a bit unlucky. He was uh, hampered by one of the Josephians uh, who was on the other side of that uh, breakdown. So he couldn't reach the breakdown at that time. So as a result, the Wesley Center just found himself a bit isolated and the Josephians were good enough to bounce on that loose ball. Lanka now collects the line out from the front. No, no, the ball no. was set, but uh, it's a penalty. It's a it ball. did uh, break it's down and a tackle was formed. And uh, hands in the ruck Number. as uh, what the referee says as uh, St. Joseph's College win uh, yet four. another penalty. Gammampila was the guilty party on that occasion. It looked like a blatant hand in that ruck, uh, Abdullah. Yes, and right in front of the referee as well. Don't think he was going to get away with that. So Josephians, inch by inch, just trying and uh, setting the tone of this second half. It's been all of them. Uh, it's just been the Josephians' uh, game so far in this second session. As we have a look at that once again, Marasinga making that break. And uh, Ruck may not have been formed, but he was definitely not supporting his body weight, was uh, Elisha on that occasion. Yeah, not the best of uh, lineouts for St. Joseph's College. Know, but uh, Navin Marasinga collects and uh, sets it up for St. Joseph's know, College. I know. Good uh, contest there coming in at the breakdown. Now Sachin Tana takes the ball, one. makes good way meters forward. St. Joseph's College prop forward picks it up, but uh, was isolated for a moment, but uh, managed okay, to hold ball. things up. Now Sachin Tana sets up a mall as uh, St. Joseph's College continue to make good headway. You are going down, right? Back to the advantage for the corner away. The referee says that uh, the Josephian player was uh, not supporting his uh, body weight at the breakdown. And uh, he's going to have a conversation with the Wesley captain. Yes, you can just see the attacks that uh, the Josephians are repeatedly mounting is definitely having an impact on uh, this Wesley defense. They are committing more and more errors at the breakdown. Yes, the Asian Netball Championship also is uh, underway in Singapore. The Sri Lankan ladies winning their game against India yesterday comfortably by 105 points to 14. So you can follow all that action on the papare.com. So now the line out just about uh, 15 meters away from uh, the Josephian goal line. As uh, Wesley College uh, seem to be uh, ringing the changes, the coaches. Wait, 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 wait. St. Joseph's College uh, have uh, managed to grab uh, back momentum with a couple of uh, penalties in the second half. And uh, now the line out is uh, well collected by the Josephian jumpers. The mall is set, but uh, good counter coming in by Wesley College. St. Joseph's College uh, still with position, making meter by meter, yard by yard. But uh, some good defense as well. However, Wesley College, correction, St. Joseph's College just still with position, just a couple of meters out from the try line. No, 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 no. Still with the position on their side as the forwards continue to rumble forward. Navin Marasinga picks and goes, but he's brought down. St. Joseph's College just still with position as the forwards rumble forward. Making a meter by meter. Vihanga tried to go to the backs but uh, continues to go with his forwards. Keeps things uh, close. As uh, St. Joseph's College just seemed to be just a, a few uh, meters out. But uh, looks like the try has been scored. Yes, it has. Looks it's like it's uh, Jehan Atukoral who comes up uh, with the try for St. Joseph's College. And uh, this is what they have been uh, fighting for all throughout this uh, second half.
That's right. It's just uh, they got a bit of confidence when they got once they got those points on the board, wasn't it, Romario? And from then on, you could just feel that the confidence, the momentum, everything was going in favor of the Josephians. And really concerted effort by the Josephian forwards on that occasion just enabled them to uh, extend this lead and a vital try in the context of this game. Yes, indeed. Uh, Dilhar, uh, Vihanga Randipa had uh, the opportunity to go out to the backs, but he opted uh, to keep it uh, tight with the forwards, and the forwards uh, repaid his faith. Okay, so now it's uh, Dilhara Subash lining up the conversion and the opportunity to take uh, St. Joseph's College out uh, past a seven point lead. Makes no mistake. <laughs> Score extended to 13 points to five. You can see the Josephians much more confident now. In the second half, they've scored 13 points. Wesley have nothing to show for their efforts in this second half. It's been a really to real turnaround in this uh, second session. Yes, sir. And the light at uh, Havelock Park is uh, fading fast, but uh, the kickoff, uh, the restart was uh, taken quick by Wesley College and uh, St. Joseph's College returned the favor, clear their lines very well. Wesley College with an opportunity inside uh, the Josephian half and the chance to make something happen. Straight line. Fernando lining things up uh, for the four man line out for Wesley. Collected uh, okay. well. No, no, on the no, second no. go for Wesley College as uh, they somehow managed to secure position. Now Hopwood uh, gives it out to Javadan and he releases Pereira as he's brought down in the center stay. field. Hopwood uh, opts to go on the opposite side uh, as a uh, big uh, flank. Uh, Chamod takes play forward. Now Javadan putting some, some footwork and uh, getting the ball out wide. Some uh, good uh, defense coming in uh, by St. Joseph's College as well, but uh, Wesley still with position. Hopwood gives it out to Javadana. He gives it out to his big forwards as they fumble things and uh, is knocked forward by Pereira. Looks like the pressure seems to be telling on Wesley College, Abdullah. Yes, they did get a bit of uh, momentum going their way, but again, the slippery ball, the pressure applied by that uh, Josephian defensive line. Number two. All those coming into play. And uh, the thing, uh, Romario, in these kind of conditions, you don't want to go far too behind, isn't it? Because playing catch-up rugby, especially with a wet ball, underground conditions, rather heavy, it's never an easy task. So uh, the Josephians have just managed to uh, get their noses in front. And just with about uh, 10 minutes remaining, you'd have to say they are in prime position to uh, pull off this semi-final but yet quite a bit of rugby to be played as we have a look at that once again just taking the eyes off the ball worried about the oncoming defense knocking the ball on quick 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 yes and the light as well abdullah is uh, fading uh, quite fast here at uh, havelock park it is uh, still just uh, 5 30 on the clock but uh, looks extremely dark Vihanga Randeep hey. now uh, setting things up uh, to feed uh, this scrum in uh, centre field for St. Joseph's College. Navin Marasinghe lets it for the scrum half. He gives it out to his uh, fly half as he puts uh, boot to ball. A good uh, bouncing kick collected by uh, Jayavira as he returns the favour. Not the best of kicks but uh, somehow manages to bounce it infield and uh, send the ball out into touch. St. Joseph's College with the line out. Yes, the Josephians uh, wouldn't mind that at all. 25 meter gain, the clock running down as well. So I think the Wesleyites will need to try and keep the ball with them as far as possible. That's what I said, playing catch-up rugby in these kind of conditions. It's never easy. 
You need to keep in mind the Wesleyites need to score twice, isn't it, Romario? They have to score twice uh, if they are to uh, get back into this game. Yes, I think uh, that's a little bit of a uh, cushion that uh, the Josephians will be uh, hoping to continue forward as uh, Chamod Fernando <laughs> finds Lanka in the line out at the front. Now Sachin Tana gives it out to the big uh, number eight as he goes over the first defender but is uh, brought down by three men. Now Subash puts uh, boots to ball, finds uh, good uh, space in behind, good uh, chase coming in for St. Joseph's College and uh, Ball, in, ball, in. ball is uh, still in the field of play as uh, Wesley College uh, somehow secure position. Wesley College still with uh, the forwards uh, and uh, keeping the ball inside their own stay half. Back, back. Just a few meters out from their goal line. Hopwood uh, puts a box kick and uh, hits it uh, straight into his own man. But... Uh, the play seems to be in shambles. However, play continues. Now Wesley College, the win three quarter with an attack, attacking opportunity. His kick was uh, well fielded by uh, Subash as uh, St. Joseph's College uh, continue to uh, cough things up and uh, Wesley still with uh, possession. Slowing things down a bit is uh, Hopwood. But uh, looks like he's going to the kick. Yes, he is uh, charged down, but uh, collected by uh, Jayavardhan and he gives it to Jayavira. Not the best of kicks. The ball is uh, let bounce by the Josephians as uh, Dilhara Subash. He opts to return the favour. Skewed off his boot, but uh, still in the field of play as uh, Hopwood now goes to his uh, trusted left foot uh, good uh, thumping kick over the uh, defensive line of uh, St. Joseph's College Tehran Karunanayaka from inside the 22 opts to go into touch and a net gain for Wesley College yes the, the thing is uh, whenever Wesley do decide to kick the ball away first thing they do lose possession and second of all the clock also tends to run down so Again, they have to play this catch-up kind of rugby, which means they have to hold on to position at every given opportunity and make it count. So just approaching the last uh, six minutes of this game. Again, Wesley need to score twice to get back into this semi-final. So the Josephians, they just need to be smart. When they do have position, just ensure that the game is played in Wesley's uh, territory as far as possible. Indeed, and I think uh, that's exactly why the Number Josephians 10. are opting to kick the ball so much. The referee has uh, spotted something, I'm not too sure what. He did uh, have a consultation with his uh, AR. Kennedy's here. It's coming now. Kennedy. It's starting here. Look, they will start like with the penalty for the late charge. Some right? obstruction by the uh, Josephians. Seven. And uh, as we say that uh, the rain uh, increases here at uh, Havelock Park. Hold, hold. Penalty ka kyanne. <coughs> Time on. Jayavardhana lines up the penalty. Red charge, number 10. It's a really good touch finder by Jayavardhana. Got to need to uh, make this line out count. We've got to score a try as soon as possible. Just approaching the last five minutes of this game. Now, uh, Wesley College inside uh, the Josephian 22, about uh, eight to ten meters away from the try line, and this is uh, a good attacking platform. If they manage to score something from this, we'll be surely in for some uh, good. Uh, Five ten minutes left in this game, Abdullah. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, yes, the accuracy from this line out is going to be critical. Both teams, uh, for the majority of the line outs, have struggled. Could be, could this could be considered as the most li important line out for the Wesleyites. Indeed, the whole uh, season hinges on this. As the referee continues. Uh, I play at 
Game on. No. Keep the gap, keep the gap, keep the gap. Not the best of line outs uh, knocked back, however. But uh, the referee instead, uh, say, instead uh, says that the, the ball was crooked. And the St. Joseph's down. College uh, with an opportunity to get out of jail. Last five minutes it's a of really the poor execution of the line out and the out occasion by the Wesleyites. Has that line out just uh, seen the end of their hopes? The, West, the Josephians will just need to ensure that uh, they do kick the ball out of touch. If they can just get out of the 22, I think uh, they'd be very happy. Boys, coach. Bye. The younger Randeepa prepares to feed the line at the scrum. Gets it in and Naveen Marasinga lets uh, Vihanga clear it out uh, to Rodrigo as he runs, take a couple of feet and uh, puts in a good uh, deep kick. Collected uh, by Jayavardhana now from the tail of uh, the uh, attack of uh, Wesley College. Wesley still holding on to position, sends it out through the hands, uh, sets things up. Player. The ball uh, skips out of uh, the rock but uh, is uh, collected and uh, Wesley College still with the ball in hand. Now the forwards no, no, are no, making no, no, headway. Run home, run home. Hopwood uh, gives it out to advantage. Pereira. He beats a one man but uh, looks like uh, there is an advantage coming in favour of uh, Wesley as uh, Jayavira gives it out to the reserve hooker. He has a man to beat but is uh, brought down in a good tackle by Deshan Taraka. Now uh, Jayavira tried to go on uh, the short side but uh, is uh, brought down and uh, taken into touch. However, the referee will go back for play for the advantage. I think Wesley have just got to take a quick tap and uh, try their hand. I don't think they can uh, afford uh, to spend time going for a line out or forming a scrum but Well, they did decide to go to the post. I'm not sure whether they do have time, but I guess they'll have to take a chance, isn't it, uh, Romario? If they get this over, they will receive the kickoff and uh, they will probably hope that they can launch an attack from then on. Will there be uh, enough time to... is Baraka joint is so Jayavardhana to increase uh, Wesley's uh, tally to 8 points they yet need another score despite that strikes it reasonably well and gets it over so it's 13 points to 8 just about uh, over one minute remaining so this just could be one play in it where Wesley will need to try and launch an attack from their own half so if you have a look at that replay once again nice strike by Jawadana gets it over yes and now the Josephians just uh, taking their own cool time in uh, coming back and uh, restarting play but uh, less than a minute left on our clock. Dilara Subash goes deep, long and deep. Oh, let bounce by Pereira, but uh, is caught by the uh, winger for Wesley. He puts in a good uh, kick and uh, drives play back into the uh, Josephian half. Quickly taken, but the referee says, uh, hold on, lads. Has it gone inside the 22, or Romario? If so, it could be a line out for the Wesley Ice because it was kicked from their own half. The Josephians did try to take a quick line out. Yes, indeed, a great spot, Abdullah, but uh, we are not too sure if we can get a replay. Well, we can see from what the line out, no, it looks like it's uh, the ball has gone just outside the 25. So, unfortunately for Wesley, it will be a Josephian throw in. And this could be the final play of the game. Oh, no, no, no. 
Good Wesley. Time stop. Put a steal in here. White number 13. White number 13. One three. So, vital throw for the Josephians. It's critical that Wesley try and uh, steal this line out throw. <laughs> Time on. This could very well be the final play of the game. Okay, good. But uh, Josephians ball. have done brilliantly well to uh, secure that line out. And they just wind the clock down as far as possible. Just keeping it tight. Really good play by the Josephians. Just want to kick it into touch. He couldn't kick with the ball, was taken back in. So another chance for the Wesleyites to launch an attack. Jai Veera needs to keep the ball in hand. I'm not sure whether that was the best possible option. Nice uh, jinxing run by uh, Tehran Karnaratna. Tackle with the tackle. That was a very cynical uh, tackle off the ball. And it looks like very correctly. Could be penalized. It's their big man, Mada Singha, who has been given the marching orders. So that will be the end of his game. Could there yet be a twist in this game, uh, Romario? Yes, indeed. It looks like uh, that was uh, the worst possible thing that could have happened for St. Joseph's College. And... Uh, now they are playing with the minus a man for the next uh, few minutes left in this game. Our clock, of course, it's uh, 70 minutes, but it's the referee's clock that matters. And now Javardana with an opportunity to put uh, Wesley College uh, deep into the St. Joseph's College half. Yes, a good, uh, good touch finder by uh, Jaiwardhana. It's almost over. Right on if the 25 meter mark. No, if just, it is ball dead, uh, it's over. Imperative that uh, the Wesleyites secure this line out ball. Their line out has been far, far from perfect in this game. One final uh, play numbers, left numbers. Uh, is what uh, the, the referee did uh, say to the captain of St. Jo of St. Wait, Joseph's wait. College. And of course, Abdullah, it's uh, time to also pick uh, the player of the match. There were quite a few uh, players who put their hands up. Uh, Jehan Atukorala, Naveen Marasinghe, and of course, Hopwood and uh, Jayavadana from Wesley. But uh, the NDB player of the match goes to uh, Sachin Lanka as uh, the line-out isn't uh, collected cleanly for Wesley. But uh, they still managed to uh, recover position and uh, is uh, holding on to it. They opt to use the forwards. Wesley College uh, inside uh, the opposition 22 and uh, making uh, meter by meter. Thabit is uh, screaming out instructions to his uh, forwards. Good uh, tackles coming in uh, by St. Joseph's but uh, Wesley still with position. Thabit uh, picks and uh, makes a couple of meters. The referee says the player needs to release the ball as... Uh, West is still uh, with their forwards and uh, making good headway. Good uh, counter coming in uh, by St. Joseph's, but uh, the West defense uh, at uh, the breakdown is uh, strong. Now Hopwood uh, to Jayavardhana. Gives it out to Jayavira. He has a man on the outside. Uh, beats one man, beats two men, but uh, does not manage to get the offload away. Now Wesley are just a couple of meters out from uh, the Josephian try line and uh, are having uh, momentum on their backs still uh, Jayavardhana looks like uh, this is a try that will win the game uh, Jayavira he goes over a good uh, play by Wesley College and have they stolen it uh, looks like they have well the conversion to come what wonderful composure by the Wesleyites we did not see this coming did we Romario but you have to give it to the Wesleyites they just hung in there at crucial moments and they have just the opportunity with the conversion to seal this game. It all injures on their fly half, Jayavardhana.
If not, would we be going into extra time as we have a look at that once again? A great uh, line run there by uh, Gammam Pillar and he attracted all the defenders and uh, Tarush Jayavira, he just had to collect that uh, pass and go over for the try. And now the conversion of the boot of uh, Jayavardhana and he has the chance to win this game and uh, put Wesley College into the final. And if not Romario, we'll be doing overtime today, isn't it? We'll be going into extra time. Yes, indeed, Abdullah. You can see, if, if you can see what we are seeing, you can see the Wesley players on their knees, <laughs> praying to the Almighty that this is slaughtered over. Thank you. <coughs> Time on. A small hold up in play. Jayavira strikes it, but just misses it, goes right across the upright. So it's 30 in all. No and we will okay. go into extra time okay. by the looks of it. it cold. What drama we have witnessed in this last five minutes. And if we go back to what happened, Romario. You have to go back to that Wesley's decision of taking the kick to goal, isn't it? Yes, indeed. At that moment, we were questioning whether that was the correct decision, but they had the confidence so to get, get the ball, get those three points, they receive the kick off and then launch another attack, and that's exactly what they have done. Yes, indeed, Abdul. I think a great composure shown by uh, the Wesley College players. Play is uh, completed here after 70 minutes. Uh, it's uh, 13 all as uh, there is nothing uh, able uh, to separate the two teams captain 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 so looks like we'll be going to extra time right Okay. Captain! Sudden death. <laughs> Will it be or Captain, Will they Captain. Be playing the entire duration of that half? We'll get that information to you as soon as it's available. Yes, indeed. Uh, a <laughs> great <laughs> game of uh, rugby here at Havelock <laughs> Park <laughs> as a referee. <laughs> what drama we have witnessed, <laughs> Romario. <laughs> What a final, what a wonderful last uh, seven to eight minutes that was by Wesley. Looks like uh, the Josephians have won the toss and they are opting for position of uh, the field, the side of the field. And... Uh, Looks like it is a golden point, but uh, we are not too sure, and we will confirm to you shortly. But after 70 minutes, uh, nothing to separate the two sides, as a, a lovely try from uh, Jayavira at the death managed to uh, make it 13 points all, but unfortunately Jayavadana failed to kick the conversion of the tee. 13 points all at Havelock Park, as uh, we are moments away from uh, extra time. It's real drama here at uh, Havelock your Park. Side, your side. Yeah, kick off. The light is anything but perfect, but the game will carry on. Both oh, these two teams have really thrown everything into this encounter. It hasn't been the prettiest of rugby, but uh, cannot fall the effort of these two teams. Knockout rugby at its very best. Come, come. Wesley just going into a five points to nil lead at half time. Josephians in the second half storming back 13 unanswered points. And then within those last seven to eight minutes, Wesley putting a penalty over and on the stroke of full time, the final play of the game, Skipper Tarusha Jayawardana going over for a try to equal things up. Yes, indeed, and Abdullah, we are getting confirmation that it is a sudden death. So the first team to score will uh, 
secure their place against Isi Patana as uh, the kickoff uh, for extra time is kicked by uh, Jayavira but uh, returned by Rodrigo Foss from St. Joseph's College. Now Hopwood opts to go for a, a high up and under. Vihanga Randipa chasing but uh, brings the ball down, oh, no. knocks it on. Looks like uh, play will continue and uh, looks like the try has been scored but uh, the referee is uh, having a bit of a consultation with his AR. Interesting to see what that was about, uh, Romario. It's a late charge. Did the I think uh, the Wesley players right, right, right. Are not in were charging in front of the kicker. The crucial mistake that could be. Time on. <laughs> so without the ball. Well, uh, looks like the player has been uh, taken out, and uh, is what uh, the referee has uh, indicated. And now from about. Uh, 48 to 50 meters out on the angle, St. Joseph's College and uh, Rodrigo opts to go for the posts. Yes, and uh, this is the replay, Abdullah. Long hanging kick, wonderful chase. We're not too sure what happened uh, before this, and that's exactly where the referee went as well. For the play before that, however, everyone in the Wesley College lineup uh, thought they had uh, scored. However, the referee said, uh, "No, lads, uh, we are coming back for the penalty for a late charge." And now it'll be Ruchita Rodrigo lining up for the penalty from about uh, 50 meters out on the angle, with the chance to send the Saint Joseph's College through to the next round, or rather to the final. Rodrigo strikes it, uh, does not have the feet, neither does it has the angle. Play will continue from a 22 meter restart. Everyone at the ground held their breath oh, no, 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 as that no, 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 kick no, no, no. was uh, kicked. However, it did not uh, have the distance nor the angle as uh, Chavardana puts a deep uh, 22 meter restart. Vihanga Randipa chases back, collects the ball, puts on some footwork and Clears it, but a uh, bit of uh, shambles the play, but uh, St. Joseph's College still with possession. And the new new man for St. Joseph's uh, decides to run straight. The Josephian forwards still with possession. Sachin Tana loses the ball forward. Now Wesley College getting their hands on possession. The Josephian defense seem to be all over the place, but Tabit picks the ball up and runs into the... The only defender who was there on the open side. Wesley College still with position. Now to the line they go. Through the hand of the fly half. But uh, the replacement centre is caught well. De Silva. West is still with position. Hopwood uh, decides to tell the forwards to take it up forward. As they are making metre by metre, yard by yard. Now Hopwood gives it out to Pereira. With Tabit on his back, beats the first man, but he's brought down in a good tackle by Rodrigo. Hopwood gives it out to the replacement center, De Silva. He beats, brings a couple of men to take him down. Get back, get back, get back. Wesley College still with position. The ball still with the forwards. Making meter by meter, yard by yard. The Josephian defense uh, well fanned out, but uh, Wesley College are still making meters uh, through their forwards. Now Pereira, at the tail of the breakdown, reload, picks and reload. goes, uh, takes a couple of men to bring him down, sets things up. Hopwood gives it out to the new winger. He has a chance on the outside, but uh, does not uh, get the pass away. And uh, the penalty comes in favor of uh, St. Joseph's College. Holding on, uh, says the referee. 
The player was isolated on that occasion and a good decision by uh, the Josephian player. And he wins the, the all-important penalty in favour of uh, St. Joseph's College to relieve some pressure. Yes, a bit unfortunate for Wesley. Managed to find a bit of uh, space on the short side. But again, they used the, their big man and skipper Tarush as the decoy runner, Romar. I don't know whether that was the correct call. You want him to have... The, I want him to have the ball as much as possible here because if we look at that once again, Tarusha went as the decoy runner and uh, just finding himself isolated and uh, the wing three-quarter coming from the side as well. So, so many uh, penalties uh, at that breakdown by Wesley. The touch finder, a good uh, touch finder by uh, Rodrigo. St. Joseph's College, uh, however, still inside the Josephian half. Number one, number one. Number they have uh, plenty of meters to go if they are to get anything out of this. Number one. Looks like uh, changes have been made by Wesley. The weather surely didn't hold up, Abdullah, but this game hasn't disappointed. Yes, uh, in terms of suspense and uh, thrills as well. As... Uh, very clearly saw that line out not straight Come down. it's not been the prettiest of games Romario but in terms of suspense the thrills and spills it has brought in it's definitely lived up to a billing of a knockout semi-final gone into extra time been phases of plays where each team has dominated the momentum has swung towards each team throughout this entire game it could just come down to this final few minutes. So it's five minutes uh, per half. So Wesley will have the final say of this uh, first session of extra time. Hopwood gets the ball out to Jaiwadana. He gives it to his uh, player who knocks the ball on. Now Teran Karunanayaka opts to go for the uh, little chip, but. Uh, Caught by Hopwood and uh, that's the end yes, of uh, yes, the first half of extra time. <coughs> Nothing uh, to separate no the two sides. And uh, looks like no it will no be water. a crossover yes. straight away and uh, no changeover no in play. No half time. No water. No water. No water. Watch out, watch out, watch out. So in that uh, first uh, session of extra time. Only the Josephians had an opportunity to get some points on the board, uh, courtesy a long-range penalty which was not successful. It will be a crossover and uh, another five minutes of extra time. The ruling still stands. Whoever scores first will take okay. away the semi-final. Look at the Yes, indeed, and it looks like. Uh Chandupa has uh, come on uh, in place of uh, Dilara Subash for St. Joseph's College and he's the man who takes the back. restart of this uh, second uh, stanza of uh, extra time. Collected well by Wesley and they set it up in their own half as Hopwood opts for the box kick. Uh, good uh, contestable Contest. kick but unfortunately knocked on by uh, the Wesley College uh, chaser. It's the first knock -on. Scrum in favour of uh, St. Joseph's College after a couple of knock-ons there. Yes, a nice hanging kick by Hopwood once again, giving his uh, chasers ample time to put pressure on the Josephian defence, unfortunately. If you have a look at that once again. Just uh, not being able to tip that ball back towards his side. As a result, uh, the ball going forward and a scrum for the Josephians. Quite a bit happening Five. out there on the field. Six. But now it's uh, St. Joseph's Ready. College with the, the feed into the scrum. Vihanga Randipa. Also, St. Joseph's College have uh, got back their player who they lost to the Sinbin, Naveen Marasinga, as he made uh, good headway. Now the backs, Teran Karunaraikas, keeps the ball and uh, opts to run. 
Sets things up for St. Joseph's College. Vihanga Randeepa gives it out to Sachin Tana. He beats the first man but is brought down in a good uh, gang no, tackle. No, no. St. Joseph's College, uh, however, unfortunately does not manage to hold on to position as they concede a holding on penalty. Great work at the breakdown for Wesley, Wesley College and uh, straight away they win the penalty at the breakdown. Yes, yeah, some good work uh, by the Wesleyites at the breakdown. Teams need to remember though, Romario, they, all the scoring first, it's also important to play the territory game in these kind of situations. You don't want to get bogged in your own half. You concede a penalty either via a breakdown or some kind of infringement that gives the opposition place kicker a chance to uh, slot a penalty over. Not the best of kicks by uh, Jayavardhana is uh, collected by Isuru. Now Tehran puts a boot to ball and returns the favor right, as uh, Josephian Chase comes. Jayavadana opts to go on the short side, beats a couple of men, has the chance to go on the outside but is brought down in a good tackle by uh, Naveen Marasinghe, goes straight through Jayavardhana and cleans him out into touch. Yes, I think Jayavira did well to get over that first line of defence but uh, needed to cut in and stay in play, wasn't it? Decided to run along the touch line, just made it so much easier for that cover defence of the Josephians to bundle him into touch. Both teams just throwing everything into that. this game, isn't it, uh, Romario, as we have a look at that once again. It was Jai Warden actually who made that initial break. He was never going to run around Marasinghe in, in such a short uh, sp space with the touchline also there to uh, support him. Yes, and also I think after he uh, failed to find touch, he tried to make a spark something out of it and uh, unfortunately did not manage to do so. Tension rising here at uh, Havelock Park as uh, the referee is uh, clearing his uh, lines. Still uh, telling the fans who are on uh, the side of the grounds that uh, they need to go behind uh, the advertising boards. It's about two and a half minutes remaining in this uh, second session of extra time. Yeah, also getting the news that uh, if uh, neither team uh, manages to score, it will be uh, a dropout for victory. In, in, in. Drop goals, yes. Pardon me, drop goals for victory. So they have five of them. But before that, uh, they have uh, a bit of playing to do as uh, Lanka wins the, the line out for St. Joseph's College. Change, changes the channel of the mall. But the mall isn't going anywhere as... Uh, the Wesley College defence holds on, in. however, a penalty advantage is coming in the favour of uh, St. Joseph's College. Navin Marasinghe now breaks away, makes good metres, gives it out to the replacement fly half for St. Joseph's College, but unfortunately the pass uh, doesn't uh, find the man. Now St. Joseph's College still with position through skipper Tehran. He sets things up. Vihanga Randeepa gives it out to the new man as he bumps off the first man of the Wesley defence. But he's uh, brought down. Vihanga Randeepa gives it out to Rodrigo. He puts uh, boots to ball back. over the head of uh, the opposition winger. Go on, go on, go on, go on. He the favour with another good uh, kick. But go on, unfortunately go on, go on. straight into the hands of uh, Tehran Karuna Nayaka as uh, he returns the favour. Now Hopwood onto his educated left foot. Uh, the ball goes over the Josephian uh, Defence line as uh, Chandupa. <laughs> Looks like uh, there was a bit of a drop by Chandupa, but uh, the referee is uh, calling a halt to play. Blue, blue, blue number 14? Yeah, 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 yeah. Without the ball? Tackling. Yes, well, the light is pretty bad here. You probably won't be able to experience that on your TV screens. Blue number 14. Looks like there has been a tackle oh, off the ball back by back the back uh, back. Wesley College of Wintry Quarter. Rodrigo was the man. As uh, now St. Joseph's oh, College win a penalty. 
Looks like it was a, a tackle off the ball is what the referee penalizes penalized Rodrigo for. The referee is still in a discussion with his AR. Gets the penalty from where the ball bounced, Abdullah, if I have not penalty mistaken. Without the ball tackling. Number 14, Rodrigo of Wesley College, penalized for tackling the Josephian player without the ball. Yeah, the poor lad, you can see on the sidelines indicating that he was going to block the ball. But uh, touch judge and uh, the referee have deemed otherwise. So, semi final could come down to this final kick. Ruth drama we've had here at uh, Havelock Sports Club. Ruchita Rodrigo lining up this uh, c penalty. Surely one of the most important kicks of his life. Nail drop silence here at Havelock Park. Lining things out from about uh, 27, 28 meters on the angle. Rodrigo takes a deep breath. Kicks it through. Looks like uh, it was on target, but unfortunately it uh, bounce, bounces off the play, off the post. And uh, St. Joseph's College uh, reclaim position. And now with the momentum on their side, here goes the new forward. Uh, taking the ball and picking up and making good headway. The St. Joseph's College forwards are continuing back, to back, keep the back, ball tight with them. Navin Marasinger goes on the outside, uh, has an advantage, uh, just does the Josephians, but the get forwards back, boys, still back, continue to back. keep the ball close. Again, line offside. And here comes uh, the oh, second no. advantage as the line has been uh, caught offside uh, off the Wesley College lads, but back, uh, some uh, good defense coming in, holding out the Josephians. Sachin Tana picks up, balls, does balls, not manage balls. to make many meters. Now St. Joseph's College forwards still keep on position, keep hold of it. Here goes Navin Marasinger, does he get over? No, he doesn't, just a couple of meters short. St. Joseph's College unfortunately loses the ball forward. However, there will be surely a couple of uh, penalties that uh, they will have the opportunity to pick from. You can hear the referee saying that uh, if it's a cram, they need to just uh, go out. Vihanga Randeep uh, with the penalty and the opportunity to win it this time. And of course, they have opted for the penalty, Abdullah. Yeah, well, no brainer on that occasion, Romario. Much more straightforward kick. It's, uh, with a very slight angle. So it could very well come down to this final play. Lux of fortune for the Josephians. That previous penalty just striking the upright. Falling right back into the chaser's hands of St. Joseph's. So they managed to create a few more phases and extract another penalty and... Uh, an opportunity for Rodrigo to take the Josephians into the final. Rodrigo lines things up, makes no mistake from the tee this time and that's the win for St. Joseph's College and they qualify for the final of the President's Trophy 2022. They will take on Isipatana College However, this has been a great game of rugby here at Havelock Park, Abdullah. And uh, St. Joseph's College uh, finally managed to prevail through a penalty off the boot of Rodrigo. That's right, but uh, hats off to the Wesleyites as well. They played a huge part in this game. They went down in the uh, first 20 minutes of that second half, conceded 13 points and showed a lot of character in that final 8 minutes to come back to equalize things. 
And probably with the last minute or so of that second session of the extra time, they conceded a penalty which Rodrigo was good enough to slot over and thus send the Josephians in to the knockout final. But overall, what suspense, what drama. And uh, kudos to both schools for putting on a wonderful performance today. Yes, indeed. The great show of uh, rugby here at Havelock Park. It was uh, Wesley College who got uh, the early lead in the first half. However, look at this uh, penalty. This is a penalty that uh, put uh, St. Joseph through to the final of the uh, President's Trophy, Knockout Trophy 2022. A gripping game of uh, rugby here at Havelock Park and uh, St. Joseph's College uh, prevail through the boot of Ruchita Rodrigo. 16 points to 13 in favor of uh, St. Joseph's College at the end of uh, sudden death. After 10 minutes of uh, extra time played here at Havelock Park. It was a gripping game of rugby. Wesley College led at the halftime 5 nil. However, the Josephians uh, scrapped back to make it uh, 13. W Wesley scored a, a try in the dying embers and made it 13 all. And after 10 minutes of extra time and on the 10th minute, uh, a penalty by Ruchita Rodrigo means uh, that uh, St. Joseph's College prevail 16 points to 13. And the NDB player of the match, of course, Sachindra Lanka for his uh, great work at the lineout and his hard work at the breakdown. 16 points to 13, uh, one try for St. Joseph's College and a conversion. Three penalties, uh, two off the boot of uh, Dilara Subash and uh, the winning penalty off the boot of uh, Rodrigo. While uh, Wesley College managed a couple of tries and a penalty goal for their 13 points. Yes, what a game we witnessed here, Romario. Have to give a lot of credit to the Wesleyites as well. Thought uh, during that last eight minutes or so, showed a lot of character to come back into the game. And they definitely uh, had their chances even in those extra periods, but uh, just couldn't uh, put the finishing touches. Yes, indeed. And uh, this is the uh, highlights of the... Uh, Second half, a couple of penalties off the boot of uh, Dilara Subash got jo the Josephians off the mark. And then it was a try by Atuka Orala that uh, managed uh, to get them to 11 points. Dilara Subash made it 13 points to 5 as the Josephians were cruising. However, a late penalty off the boot of Jayavardhana. And a try through skipper Jayavira of this uh, lovely play from uh, Wesley College meant the game finished 13 points all 13 points all a draw at uh, Havelock Park but uh, after 10 minutes of extra time and into sudden death it was the penalty off the boot of uh, Ruchita Rodrigo that won the game in favor of uh, St. Joseph's College yes yeah, so with that victory the Josephians will meet Isipatana next week for the dialogue no school into school knockout final what a game that's going to be as well. The number one and number two teams in the league will face off in the knockout final as well. Yes, indeed, Abdullah. A great game lined up as uh, Isipatana College and St. Joseph's uh, line up for the President's Trophy final next week. But until next week, we will be uh, signing off from here along with the production and technical crew of the Papare.com. Me alongside Abdullah Yusuf sign off. Thank you and goodbye.
प्रश्न बाब के उना उत्तरे क्रिक्स मेलिबन सेवरी क्लिक के के बाब के उ क्लिक के कर मैं ना बाब के उ ने फन लाइफस्टाइल लग रहा टीसीएल में तमाय अदर काले टा अब काले टा टीसीएल में तमाय सिंगल वेटिंग अदर तक गैलप ना टीसीएल ट्वेंटी सीरीज Introducing Quickie.lk, Sri Lanka's favorite online marketplace with a wide range of product categories. Pharmaceuticals, automobile, groceries, electronics, flowers and cakes, homeware and appliances, and special services such as Quickie Concierge and Quickie SOS. Providing you with multiple payment options, quick delivery and reliable customer support. Get anything you want delivered anywhere in Sri Lanka with special late night delivery until 3 a.m. within Colombo and suburbs. Download the Quickie.lk mobile app on your Android or iOS device or visit www.quickie.lk. Quickie.lk convenience delivered. I know, I know, puta. Hey, baby, I get there and it's the animal. I'm going to tell it. Kalagunya ko huna. Rhino nang wala ta safe tamay mulu gather ma. Rhino cement roofing sheets. Dang you know Rhino. <laughs> I know. Welcome to the universe of the Ras. Whatever you want, whatever you need, all you can imagine is on your feet. When miles are abridged, happiness is unlocked. Discover your Ras. Pain. Don't let it get you down. For instant pain relief, Baraka Joint Ease Fast Action Spray. Baraka Joint Ease Spray, your pain relief partner on the field. Prashne crispy nang uttare crisp ko Melbourne savoury kick ke crispy kick ke kar. Crispy ne crisp ko re. For instant pain relief, Baraka Joint Ease Fast Action Spray, your pain relief partner on the field. Dalas look at ekatuvel na. सीलिंग <laughs> The Rhino ceiling, a wood pattern finish. I you know. You can color it your way. The plain ceiling, Rhino. The roofing's Rhino. Oh. The ceiling's Rhino. Incredible strength, I know. Durability that's high, I know. Cost effective too, I know. It's the best choice always. Rhino. Over half a century of trust. Now in a new formula, Rhino roofing and ceiling sheets. I know, Rhino. Munadalu me me kisi crispy kati ani. क्रिस्पी ने ये तोर में कारकर का हैपी नहीं कारकर का हैपी ना मुनाल क्यों है क्रिस्पी केस में तो बे प्रश्न क्रिस्पी नंग उत्तरे क्रिस्को मेलिबन सेवरी किक के के क्रिस्पी किक के कर क्रिस्पी ने क्रिस्को ने We live in a world that's rapid and demanding. We live in a community that values trust and reliability. So what if speed and convenience had a new makeover introducing the new quickie.lk Sri Lanka's favorite online marketplace quickie.lk convenience delivered Catch me howling at the moon. 